Okay, so we're going to be talking about triple beam and this calls it four, I usually call them quad beam balances. Um, so mostly in our chemistry room, we use the quad beams, but also sometimes some triple, so it's a good idea to use both. Um, we haven't talked about something called significant figures yet, but uh, you'll see, you'll see. It has to do with how many decimal places we need to express in our answers. First thing, um, we're going to assume that the units are grams for all of these. So uh, even though it's not mentioned, it probably is. So with the triple beam balance, the heaviest weight is in the center. So that goes first. So that's a 600. Then you go to the next heaviest, which is 20. And you go to the next one. So <coughs> heavier than two, less than three. So 622 points. So it looks like it's just before the 0.9. So I'm going to say 0.89. All right. The triple beam balances always get two decimal places. All right. So let's go to the next. Sorry. All right. Next one. Heaviest, 100. Then 50. Then not quite four. So 53 point. Now, it looks to me exactly on this line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I just told you we always have to go to two decimal places, so seven, zero grams. Now, why do we have to go to two decimal places? I haven't told you yet. It has to do with something called significant figures. Stay tuned. Okay, so we've got 200 and then a zero in the tens place. And so it looks like one point, one, two, three. So it's not 201, so it's 200 point, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, between five and six. So if it's between five and six, it's five, and it's in the middle of those, so we'll say five, five, five. Okay. Um, again, notice how this last decimal place, I had to estimate that. I had to guess it every time. So the nine I was guessing um, I, I, it's harder to say that I was guessing in that one because it was right on it. It was a zero, but the five, five, I had to guess. Okay. With the quad beams, um, which is what we use more like, more likely in chemistry class, um, the heaviest weight is in the back. And then we just read going forward and notice that if we have a quad beam or four, we're going to be more accurate. Notice how we ended with the ones place and now we're going to the tenths place, but that means we can estimate one beyond. So we can get three decimal places in here. All right. So we've got 128 point, definitely point 0.1, definitely point 0.19, but it's just a little bit beyond that. So I'm going to guess point 0.91. You might say, I think that's point 0.192. And guess what? That's okay, because we're going to learn that significant figures makes that last digit an estimate. 205, 205, point, definitely 0.5, definitely right on 0.55. However, I just told you you needed three decimal places, so we have to say 0.550, okay? Last one, looks like, oh, nothing in the hundreds, so 90, 90 point, definitely more than 0.8. Um, actually, it looks like it's right on the 0.9. So if it's right at the 0.9, you might be tempted to just say, hey, I'm done. But remember, we need three decimal places, zero, zero. Now you might say to yourself, saying 90.9 is the same as 90.900. Yes, mathematically it is. But we're going to learn in chemistry that we have to account for the accuracy of your lab equipment in all of our measurements. That is very important. Okay. Uh, hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Take care.